Happy Halloween Rogues Gallery and welcome to another card game video. Today we are talking about a card game that has been on my radar for literally years. It's a very very interesting dead card game from 2005, nearly 16 years ago. The game I'm talking about of course is Hecatomb. This is a very very interesting card game made by Wizards of the Coast and I'm going to use the word card very very loosely because it's almost debatable whether or not these are cards because well let's just say that these pentagons back here are the deck boxes and the cards well they're not made out of cardboard staying on theme with halloween the theme of hecatomb is very very edgy it's very dark there's monsters there's gore mad scientists and ghosts and werewolves and all of that kind of stuff so for this year's halloween video we're going to open up this entire booster box of Hecatomb, but that's not all. I also have an entire box of Hecatomb starter decks, as well as an entire booster box of the Hecatomb Last Hollows Eve. And we're also going to check out these deck boxes. Think of this as a one-stop shop for almost everything Hecatomb. I think there might be one set that I'm missing. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. There's either two or three sets. The game did not last very long, but I still think it's very, very interesting. If you are watching this video out there, whether you are a regular viewer of Red Zone Rogue, or if you are just, you know, come across this looking up Hecatomb, first of all, thank you. I hope you stick around. But second of all, let me know. Let me know in the comments if this is a game that you played. Without further ado, enough talk. Let's open up some Hecatomb. We're just gonna open up all the, all the stuff. All the stuff. Let's go. And here we have Hecatomb. This is one of the sealed starter deck boxes. I also have, like I showed off, a booster box of the first set, as well as the very, very on theme, Last Hollow's Eve. We're going to be opening up every single one of these in today's video, so go grab a drink. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer one, but um, I think this is going to be a recurring theme here on Red Zone Rome for Halloween. Going to open up a spooky old dead card game. I also have these deck boxes, which are very weird this is the shape of the cards and uh I, I bought two of them i got two of them here so if for whatever reason i can maybe build two decks and play them i don't know <laughs> i don't know they were cheap all of this stuff was cheap there there was a significant trading card game boom early 2020 or mid 2020 early 2021 but this game is one of the games that did not spike i got this all all of the stuff here for less than 120 dollars shipped so if you know where to look you can get stuff still at a really good price, especially for these old dead card games. So let's start off with the starter decks, right? Because that's where you would have started off if you were like a new player getting into Hecatomb back in 2005. I also want to shout out this awesome play mat available on redzonerogue.com. It's got a little bit of fuzz, got a little bit of fuzz. But this awesome play mat available on redzonerogue.com. I figured it is in theme. It is the haunted Katsumi Kadoko playmat. So let's just open let's just open this up. I probably should have grabbed a box cutter if I was going to be um, you know ready for this kind of stuff, but maybe we can just rip it, crack it like a banana like we do, like we do with our flesh and blood boxes. Yeah, this works, this works. Just break it down the seam. Um, this is a pretty hefty box. I'm not sure if this comes with well it should say eight 40 card starters. Oh, the starters are like the whole length of this. Hmm. Very interesting. We have Hecatomb. We have like a, a skull, right, <laughs> skull right there. How do you do this? Oh, it just bends? Like if, if I was a LGS? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it just bends and it sits like that. And then we have all of the <laughs> Hecatomb starters. Wow. This, <laughs> this is weird. This is some weird stuff. So let's open these up. 40 card starter. I don't know if the starters are random or if they're set. We're going to find out. We gotta get the scariness. We're gonna find out here. Um, insane sorcerers, worshippers of evil gods, and you struggle to be the one who ushers in the world's final hour. Breed creatures of myth and nightmare, ravenous beasts, wicked shapeshifters, revolting undead, black-hearted fey, fiery demons, and wild-eyed cultists to, con to create unspeakable hybrid abominations. Yeah, you actually overlay the cards on top of each other, which is super weird. So this comes with a counter sheet, a deck of 40 cards, 40 random cards, 
Interesting, okay. Well, we're gonna see just how random these are. Uh, this is a game that I never played, but uh, it's one that has been, like I said, has been on my radar for quite some time because it is so weird. It is such a bizarre game, um, especially for a game made by Wizards of the Coast. Um, so yeah, let, let's take a look at this. And also I looked online, there's not a ton of like Hecatomb openings that are in like high def and show off the cards in such a way where, you know, it's, it's enjoyable. This just looks like a mess. <laughs> this just looks like a mess. Here we have a little punch card. We have a bunch of ones, a couple of fives and a, and a 10. And then we have the Hecatomb rule book. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole rule book here, but I always like taking a look at these things and judge them by how nice they look. And some rule books look really nice. So you overlay the cards and you, you kind of rotate them. I know they get different benefits and bonuses and that kind of stuff depending on how you overlay them, but uh, that's not going to be the focus of today's video. Today's video is just going to be a, kind of a quick look kind of thing. I shouldn't have thrown the box on the floor. <laughs> ah, whatever. I'll toss those over there. Toss those over there. All right, so this is the actual deck. Um, and there's a piece of, oh, it's probably a piece of plastic. What's really interesting about these, and I mentioned this before too, is these cards, they're not shaped like cards, obviously, and they are, um, how you say, uh, not made out of cardboard. So we have like a little backer thing and they're kind of sticky too. Huh, weird. This, ah, oh, so, it's so weird. Okay, this is a slaughter wheel. And yeah, you like, you put the cards over each other and you can see where they like, you know, you can you can have different abilities around the, the side. Slaughter Wheel, Moloch, Raven Mancer. They are they are quite sticky. Um, I got I gotta smell them. They smell weird. They do smell weird. Okay, so let, let's let's kind of like instead of looking at these, let, I mean we are gonna look at these. Let's kind of like analyze what's on the card here. So we have Strength, probably Cost, Minion Shapeshifter, Raven Mancer. How can we tell the rarity? There's a little one here. There's like a, oh, it must be like Pokemon. Look, there's a, there's a symbol here. That's a diamond. Those, uh, and these are, these are stars. So these are probably the rares. Moloch and Slaughter Wheel. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the, the decks together, but when we're going through the boxes, we'll, we'll keep a keen, keen eye on those. So this is another like Sunder. It looks to be uncommon. Um, Nahual looks to be uncommon. Murder of Crows. Primeval Lava, Skin Melder. I, this is definitely a Halloween. Dark Genesis. This is definitely a Halloween game. Are these just all uncommons? There's a lot of uncommons in here, man. We have Eviscerator. Oh, yeah, these are these are common. Okay, so those 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 were all uncommons. I wonder if these are like seeded or or how how it works, or if you just get like literally random stuff, like a, like an old like tournament deck from Magic, if it's just completely. Completely random. I think the thing, food poisoning. I think the thing that immediately, it's pretty cool art there. Looks like a type O negative album cover. Forsaken Shell, The Butcher. Um, Callow Believer, Devoted One. Look at that, <laughs> look at that art, Twinned Husk. Look at this, he's crazy, dude. Damned thing, that damn thing. We have a uh, Byaki. Uh, it's just how sticky these are. They're so sticky, Blood Monkey, Blood Monkey. That is a blood monkey. Glimpse of the cosmos. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can think of a good joke. I don't know, man. Uh, me after uh, drinking drinking too much. Me after mixing mixing drinks. Uh, mindless servant mixing uh, beers and hard liquor. Crypt caller. Suckling. <laughs> it's called suckling, dude. It's a suckling spirit. Uh, surrounded by idiots. It was only a dream. Creature from Xylo. Look at this art. So bizarre. This is a Wizards of the Coast item. And like, it's so, like, like the, the cards are just so sticky. It's, it's weird. Like, like, it, it's hard to describe it, but, and here's the back of it, obviously. Hecatomb. Um, obviously the name Heca stands for five. And it's like a pentagon. It can also be called Pentatomb. Pentatomb. Um, so what the, the rares were, um, oh, I've, I've already kind of mixed them up a little. Ah, eh, well, well, we'll continue on. We'll, we'll continue on. We got a lot of stuff to get through here. So we'll set this deck 
over here, I guess. Maybe I should have kept the deck boxes available. Oh, my hands are still kind of sticky from them. It's the plastic. I wonder how the plastic holds up compared to like cardboard in terms of like, you know, ink longevity. Probably not as much, but maybe longer. I don't know. Like, I, I feel it could go either way. Um, either way, just really, we really just weird and interesting stuff here. So we have the deck again, Altar of Atrocities. So you can, you can kind of just take these out and see what like, see what rare they come with because the rares are on, they're on the front. So we'll just take, take this on out and heat that. Altar of Atrocities. And you can see some like little plastic bits like left over. So this is, this has got to be the rare, right? Yeah. It's got the star down here. Altar of Atrocities. Whenever one of your abominations reaps, untap a number of target mana cards up to its size. Weird. Hiana. Dude, that looks sweet. Minion Demon. So that, that's the other rare. Um, was there a card behind this? There was a card behind this. I was like, I feel like there's something behind this. It's an uncommon Sunder. So I think what we're going to do to speed this up, Murder of Crows. We're going to go through this, try to be quickly, though there, I do see some other cards here that we haven't seen before. Um, at some point for the, these starter decks, we're just, okay, another suckling, we're just going to um, just find the rares and then just can continue on. Because like, this is so bizarre. If you're watching this and you played this game, Forbidden Word, how, like, look at this, man. That is pretty, that is pretty spooky. Like, that, that's pretty spooky. Like, that's some true, like, horror imagery right there. Like, it's not messing around. Night Child. Um, I wonder how many, like, Nephilim. Huh. Interesting take on Nephilim. Have Makadal, like a Nakadal, hush. Yeah, it, it, I was gonna say, if, if you've played this before, was it fun? Like, did people like like the gameplay at least when this came out? Or was it like, did it die because it wasn't fun? Or did it die because it had these these weird like card things? It's, it's weird calling them cards because they do not look like any card I know of. And I don't even know how I'm gonna store these, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I'm gonna end up with a giant pile of these. How do, how do you store your Hecatomb stuff? Like, I don't know. It's so weird. Why did they... Okay, so they definitely chose the plastic because of the mechanics, right? Because the mechanics are like, you stack the cards on top of each other and you get like bonuses when the cards are stacked on top of each other. Um, that's why they chose plastic. And I guess the shape is so they could rotate. Um, but... It's still, ooh, that's kind of cool. Tez Catlapoca. God, whoa. This is, this is a good one? <laughs> I don't know. This, does anyone have a Scry magazine from 2005? What, what, are, the, what are the pricing on uh, these cards from 2005? Uh, Tez Catlapoca and Skull Swarm are the two rares. So you get, yeah, this, this is very similar. These are very similar to the old Magic like tournament decks where you get like two random rares and then just like a bunch of uncommons and then a bunch of commons. Um, does it say how many cards are in the set? Yeah, 144. That's pretty small for a set. Baby Blood Monkey. Cool, so you can have your Blood Monkey and your Baby Blood Monkey. There's a Torment. Jeez, look at that, dude. Bull of Minos. Yeah, like a Minotaur, Minos, gotcha. Flying Polyp, gross. Another Butcher. Fresh Meat. Forsaken Shell. Man, there's some... This, this is like some Jinji Ito shit, man. Like, Cal Believer, Devoted One, Victim... Yeah, these, these are cool. These are cool. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna blast... I wish it was easier to, to thumb through. It's really awkward to thumb through because they're so sticky. I, I do not like how sticky the cards are. And I'm just kind of stacking these, like, reverse so I can at least tell them apart, the decks apart. Um... So I still have like oh, a few more decks. I think what I'm gonna do now, since, we, since we've gone through a couple decks, I think what I'm gonna do now for the remainder of the decks is maybe I'll open up this last one, because this, this will make four, and uh, we'll just get to the booster boxes. Because I think that way we'll at least see more like different cards and rares without wasting a ton of time. Hades, God, dude. I don't, how rare are like the God cards? Because I, I feel that it's gotta be pretty good. Is there Cthulhu? 
Can I get Cthulhu in this game? Because that would be pretty rad. Hades and the Cthulhu? No. Slaughter Wheel. Dude, Hades. It's freaking Hades. Great Mother. Sunder. Sunder. Um... Yeah, this is, this is pretty metal too. Like this has got to be Murder of Crows. This has got to be one of the most metal games I've, I've seen. There's another card behind there. Dark Genesis. We've seen a lot of these Dark Genesis armor graphs. We've seen a lot of those. Curse of the Ancients. Some of the stuff looks like it's from Spawn, like this. The Winchester Blessing looks like it's from Spawn. Hypersonic Fiend, Forbidden Word. Okay, yeah, so that, we're gonna, we're gonna continue on. Uh, they're so st they're so sticky. Just trying to get these. Maybe I'll bang it on the bang it on the the, the, the table here. So sticky. Interesting. So, super interesting and weird. I I kind of want to play a game with these, but let's open up one of these deck boxes. This one you can tell is really old because uh, only you can tell they're all really old. But the the Velcro has stuck to the. To the plastic here and I'm gonna have to like try to rip it off oh hold on let me let me try to take take this off all right I think I I think I got the velcro back on so the deck box closes like this though you know and eh, it's not perfect it's not perfect but yeah even this feels kind of it just feels weird and then what is this like a divider Abomination and Minion Abilities. That is a wall of text. And then the deck goes in like this. Let's grab one of the, let's grab one of the decks. We'll grab like the first one. Cause at least the first one I looked at all the cards. So they, I, I can thumb through them a little bit better. So yeah, this is the first one. You can probably fit like a bunch of decks in here. Yeah, you can fit like a bunch. Hmm. I wonder what the maximum like deck size is for, for this game. Interesting. I'll have to take a look at that a little bit, a little bit later and see. Uh, I would guess 60, but all the de all the starter decks had 40. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's open up a booster box. I'm very curious to see how the booster packs are um, because those starter decks were so bizarre. So yeah, here we go. Hecatomb sealed booster box. 15 years old. 16 years old? Something like that. Weird, super weird. I imagine it's what, just two rows? Oh, look at these massive packs. That's what she, that's what she said. Look at these massive packs. Hecatomb. Oh, oh, they're kind of stuck together. Oh, that's kind of sticky. Oh, it's weird. It, it's, it's gross in like function or it's gross in like form and function. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is a Hecatomb pack. You, your pagan god, and your abomination army are all that stand in the way of tomorrow. I can't imagine those people who were upset at like D&D &D and magic for being too demonic were like happy about this. Maybe that's, maybe this game was made as a direct response to that. They're like, hey, we're gonna be as like, you know, out there as possible. Are the boosters sticky too? They are, but they're not as, well they are, they are. So this is set. God of Slaughter. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Set is an Egyptian god. That's pretty sweet. Okay, we'll put we'll put that there. So this is a thousand-faced one. Hound of Lang. Oh, like Library of Lang from Magic. That's weird. Gluttonous Flesh Bag. So there's yeah three uncommons and then the rest are common. So this is a pretty like pretty standard like booster pack layout. I'm not gonna go through the commons. Bringer of Sacrifice, cool. I'm not gonna go through the comments. Let's just go through, let's just go through all of just the rares. We'll, we'll get a nice old, nice old zoom in on this. And uh, just, man, like it's so, it's hard to describe, but they are like sticking together. Like, look at this. Like, oh, look at that. We got a barcode, barcode number there. Our bin number, but look, look. <laughs> oh man. I'm not lying when I say they're sticky. They they are sticky. Uh, sticky wicket. All right, let's uh, let's continue to open these up. We have the cruel reaper. Maybe I should keep them with these uh, these little these little cards. We'll just take off the take out the rare. We got the cruel reaper, daughter of blood. Yo, how you doing? 
We have uh, meddling kids. I mean, we should look at the uncommons too. The uncommons are kind of cool. And razor wire artist. I like the daughter of blood. What's up? Um, and how many booster packs are there in in the box? Does it say? I didn't even look. Thirteen card booster packs. Sure. Twenty-four boosters. All right. There's like a flesh and blood draft pod. Can you can you play limited with this game? Can you draft Hecatomb or play sealed? How do, ah, uh, so difficult. It's so weird to open because uh, it's just an awkward shape. This is um, Glatra the Collector, Minion Dragon. That's kind of cool, it's like an undead dragon. Hungry Chupacabra. Yo, look at that Chupacabra. We have a Skin Taker and then a Bloodlust. Oh my God, look at, oh, look at that art, dude. This is actually the most brutal game I've, ever, I've actually ever seen. Like, this has got to have, like, the actual, like, the the scariest, like, creepypasta artwork out of any card game that I've, uh, that I've covered so far. I, I, I touted vampires being the bloodiest, because there's a lot of blood in that, but this is just brutal. Mawblade? That looks like a lawnmower. Uh, this is a silverback, a monkey. Uh, croc crocothrope, and then, I think, I think there's another card stuck behind the crocothrope. Yep, Slimoid. <laughs> oh my god. Who made this game? I know it's Wizards of the Coast, but like who at WotC like made this game? Was it Mark Rosewater? Mark Rosewater, did you make Hecatomb? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, it's just so weird. Um, it's another demon. This is Pythonos. We have a, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a nice little, just pile, pile of all the, all that stuff, smothering. Evasculate, uh, Helminth, like a, it's like a helmet, but with some mint. I don't know, man, I don't know. Um, yeah, it, it's interesting that they had this many sets. I'm, I'm very curious, I mean, by this many, I mean at least two. Uh, oh, Shogoth, no, this is straight up Cthulhu. Combat Minion Outsider. Um, yeah, Shogoth, Lord of Sacrifices, Raven Mancer, we've seen some of these. Dupes, getting these dupes already. What's this one? Great Mother. Yeah. Um, this, I don't, I don't know. This is just such a weird, bizarre thing because like the packs are sticky and like, I know I keep saying that, but go buy some. Like, if you wanna know where I bought this from, I bought this from Hills Wholesale Gaming. They're, ooh, Loki. That's freaking Loki. Prince of Treachery, God. And then he's got a hungry chupacabra behind him and a skin taker and some more bloodlust. They have these for like 20 bucks. So you can buy a booster box for 20 bucks. Shipping's a little expensive, but it depend, depends on where you live. I live on the opposite side of the country from Hills, but Hills Wholesale Gaming, if you're watching this far in the video, this is your reward for, for watching this far in the video. Um, Lemos, look at that demon. Um, Hills Wholesale Gaming is super secret tech. Wear tick, gross. Skin or ruin sifter. I was gonna say skin sifter. Um, that's a that's a magic card. Oh, I saw how to grab these because they just stick together. Um, yeah. So Hills Wholesale Gaming is where I go. One of the places I go to. There's a couple um, to get dead card games. Um, it's where I went and got my Lord of the Rings TCG stuff when they were super cheap. Greater Cthulian. And this game in particular is still really, really cheap over there. Needle Shaman, Ruin Sifter, Wear Tick again. That's, that's at the time of this recording. I don't know if this video is going to affect the market at all. I don't know if I have any sway like that. But what I do know is that I bought all this stuff for like 120 bucks. So that's that's what that's what that was. And I was like, you know, 120 bucks to buy like a bunch of Tesla Reactor. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Tesla Reactor. We have a uh, Nebrios, Ebriel, and a Breath Stealer. Man, this is such a man. I I kind of want to know. How to, I kind of want to learn how to play. It's just so bizarre that I want to learn how to play, but I don't don't know if I can convince anyone to play this with me. Princess Eternal, yo, she's beautiful. <laughs> she's beautiful. Um, Sunder. Nahual. I hope you're having a good time, at least uh, looking at looking at all this stuff. I can't even get to this card. It's so sticky. There's another murder of crows. We got a lot of murders of crows. We're murdering a lot of crows here. We're not even like halfway through this box, dude. 
Not even halfway through the box. All right, we're just gonna go to the rares. We're just gonna go to the rares now. Oh, dude, Nyarlathotep. Lord of Sacrifices. Nyarlathotep. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Um, Nyarlathotep is a, like an outer god, like a, in Cthulhu mythos. Um, Shogoths are like other ones. Horsemen of Conquest. Yo, like it's like the four horsemen. Yo, is, is it Cephala blood? No, it's a cephala, cephalopod. Uh, fire overwhelming. Power overwhelming. Um, now we have, now we have the other pile, the other sticky, sticky pile. Um, maybe if I just kind of do a little separation of all of these, <laughs> that'll be easier to pick up. Maybe now, maybe, please. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think just going to the rares is gonna is gonna be the best because it's it's right on the front. Uh, Raging Gore Tusk. I feel like that's a magic card. That sounds like the name of a magic card. Can you get like torment? Can you get? I was gonna ask. Can you get god packs? And by god packs, I mean not a pack that has a god in it, but a pack that is all rares. Some games do that. Some games do be doing that. Um, though. They're mostly Japanese games that do that. Oh, we have another Hades. It's our first rare dupe. Dupe Hades. We're gonna build a Hades deck. And then uh, I said we're not gonna look at those. For the, the sake of, of speed city because we still have the Hollow's Eve box to get to. Um, and uh, this this game is is scary in, in multiple ways. <laughs> it's, it's scary in multiple ways. Scary because of the art, and this is a Tech is the title. Tech is the title. Mr. Bananas! Oh my god, look at the Mr. Bananas. Uh, scary in form and function is what I'm getting at. The cards are scary, but it's also like scary sticky. It's also, I keep bringing up the sticky. It's also, uh oh, sticky. It's a uh, Bloodstone. Yo, that looks aw that looks like a, That looks like an album cover for sure. Relic. Destruction. Fates cost one less. Open the tomb. Really cool. I wonder if they had mythics or the equivalent of mythics in here and what the shape would be. This is a, another slaughter wheel. Second slaughter wheel. We can make our Hades slaughter wheel deck. It looks like, okay, so it looks like there's a couple different colors. Not a ton of different colors though. So it's not like the whole like magic spread of, you know, color pie kind of stuff. It's like, what, red, yellow, green, and then the gray ones. This is a Moloch, which is another god. Eater of children. I like Saturn. That's a, a classical reference. Do you not get my classical references? Um, gatekeeper. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to start stacking these like up. Ooh, hello. Hello, da daughter of blood again. How you doing? Kick these meddling kids out and we can, we start talking. <laughs> About, I don't know, drinking some blood. I don't know, I don't know what Daughters of Blood do. Blood things? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is gross looking. Visions of Death. Fate Curse. Mr. Ban <laughs> Mr. Bananas. How you, how you doing, Mr. Bananas? Um, uh, I, Oh, whoa, that is brutal. Price of insolence, that is, that is brutal. Yeah, got another silverback and a Krakatoa. Croc All right, two more packs and then we're on to the, the other box. This is, I'm very curious. I'm very curious to know everyone's opinion on this. Uh, Thulikos, minion demon. Hmm. Where is Pazuzu? I want a Pazuzu. Give me that Pazuzu. <laughs> Give me that Pazuzu. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little Pazuzu. Unholy fusion. Fusion! You know, I just it just occurred to me, with the cards being so sticky, it's probably really difficult to like rotate them around. Look at this, look at this sweet like grid that I've made. All right, let's clean up the rares. We gotta keep the rares separate. Uh, favorite rare? I don't know. We got Loki. Loki is pretty cool. 
We got like flebidos. <laughs> no, it's. I know that's not what it's called. All right. I know there's no. We'll put Loki on top. Uh, I know it's not called flebidos. Um, let's continue with the the final booster box today. We have Hollow's Eve. Last Hollow's Eve, actually. Were they able to fix the stickiness by the time this set came out? Who knows? And by who knows, I mean we will knows once we open it up and knock the camera. At least I didn't knock it off the table. At least I didn't knock it oh, off the table. So let's let's re readjust. Here's the, the last Hollow's Eve. This is like the most appropriate booster box for this time of year. Like just look at the art. It's a freaking grabby pumpkin. Gr big old grabby pumpkins. We have no one hears the ill wind blowing, the claws on the window pane, or the final ominous knock on the door. No one but you who stand victorious on the face of a dead world. Let's play some Hecatomb. <laughs> okay. Whoa, look at those. Look at that art. And then, ah, oh, the, the, the pumpkin man pops out of the box. He's like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get you. Alrighty. Is it sticky? The answer is yes, by the way. The answer is yes, because, like, we can, we can still do the thing. We can do the thing. All right, let's unstick these and just get going. We'll, we'll look at, like, for the first two or three packs, we'll try to look at all the cards. But after that, we're just going to, we're going to go rares, rare run. We're going to rare run it. It's still really awkward to, to pick up these packs, man. I wonder if it's easier to, like, crack it by the bottom. Uh, I don't know if I'd call that easier. I don't know if I'd call it easier. Oh, they're, they're reverse. Is this still the rare? No, it's common. Dead phones. Okay. Dead phones. Fomorian Elder. Hold on. Oh, man, they're so hard. The box. We have Pain Merchant. Infusion. Blah. That's the sound that guy's making. Experiment 17. These are still commons. Jackal Shaman. Jackal. It's a jackal. We have Brain Worm. That looks like it sucks. Jaguar Warrior. Stone Stalker. That's pretty cool. That's an uncommon. Uh, Antediluvian. Slay Jacket. And then the rare is Hip Hog. Yup. Hippogog. We got Hippogog. Hippogog in the house. All right. Let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. We'll look at a couple more, like I said. For the first couple packs, we'll look at all the cards and then we're just gonna go straight to the the box, straight to the box. A lot of the same cards here. Wind, oh, not this one. Amorphous Psychic, Shimung, two. It's just the box, two. A lot of dupes, actually. A lot of dupes, wow, weird. Aura Projector, Cranioderm, Bastet Priestess, so Bastet's like a god of cats. And then we have Dravulak the Breeder. It's a dragon. Got Dravulak. All right. What was the... Okay. For the, the one person who actually played this game and is actually still watched this far. Um, what? Ooh, Yog sotha I see that. Yo, that, that's, a, that's a Cthulhu god. The key to the gate, Yog sotha God. Yeah, definitely rare. Um, Rob the Tomb. Got a good old hook, hooky bloodworm. Hooked bloodworm. I don't know what I said. That that that's just Uncle Uncle Andrew. That's that's what happened to me just right now. My head just got chopped off. Evil Spawn. Jeez, <laughs> she's like the baby from Resident Evil. Um, spoilers. There's a baby in Resident Evil. I'm not gonna tell you which one. So uh, you can you can guess. You can guess which Resident Evil. Dude. Okay. So. The Resident Evil that I'm talking about, if you played it, that baby, holy freaking crap. That's like the only thing that scared me this year is that freaking baby. Uh, willing Sacrifice. Willing Sacrifice. Staff of Zyptotic Scareman. He's just really scared. Skinny Pete. Hiveling. Gift of Yog Sothoth. Doesn't look like much of a gift. We have another Scream Roller. Symbiotic Appendage. Fortune's Soldier. He looks pretty cool. 
Uh, Filth Dweller. Is he in a toilet? Scepter of Osiris. That's pretty rad. Pandora. Dude, that's sweet. Pandora. Um, I wonder if uh, the box that we've been passing is Pandora's box. Because, you know, that's what she's known for. Bo a box. All right. We're just going to go to the rare, which is this last card. This is... Aishima, Minion Demon. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so that, that's, I think that's what we're going to be doing now. Just for the, the sake of speed. Because I can tell this video is going to be real long. Real, real long. We got Horseman of War. Ooh, maybe we will get the, the full set. We got the Quang. So, what I was going to say is, what's the best set? If you played this game, what's the best set? Obsidian Skull. It's pretty cool looking. I mean, like, this game does look, like, brutal, right? Like, the art is, like, it's good art. Like, if you like this aesthetic, it's, like, good art. And so, like, with that said, Watcher in the Vault. I'm very curious to know, like, how good of a game this was. Or if it was just, like, not good. Like, why did it fail? Did it fail because didn't have enough marketing did it fail because the the subject was too narrow this is a uh, zypototec god the flayed one like this looks rad dude that looks rad but i mean like you have to be into this aesthetic and it's like pretty unrelenting right because like in games like um like flesh and blood there is like a the gory aesthetic but you know there's other like beautiful stuff too and this is just like chemical specialist this is just like unrelenting it's just like here's the gore dude's heads chopped off and here's another demon and here's another thing i wonder if that's why like or if it was like because of the weird sticky plastic cards larval devourer i mean i wonder if you ever get like two tansifix i wonder if there's like a legendary it's like, that, was, that was a curse i mean i guess the gods are like unique characters right like can you just make a deck of all gods? Can I just have like all of the Cthulhu gods? Or like all of the, huh. This one is Inscrutable Mechanism. That reminds me of something that you'd find in like Arkham Horror, right? I want, so this is the last, this is our last stack. As we approach our last stack, let's talk about things we're trying to get. Cause I don't know. I want like Skeleton Jack, man. Let's get, let's get the pumpkin, the pumpkin king on on, on stage, right? Um, I, I, I'm I glad I took a look at this game. It's just such a weird part of like card game history. Definitely a weird part of like Wizards of the Coast history. Liquid Corruption. Let me actually get that one on screen. Um, I'm, I also apologize at this point if I'm not like the cards aren't like super centered because it's, it's just, just such a weird thing. Naive Pawn. So that's a pretty cool piece of art. Hmm. And the rare is Vamshul. That's pretty cool. I, I dig. I dig it. Is this like? Uh, I'm not sure what. Is it like Indian or is it like, like, I don't know, Sumerian? <laughs> like, I'm not sure what Vam Vamshul is. I'm not familiar with Vamshul. Let me know who Vamshul is in the comments. <laughs> in the comments down below, we have who. Crown of Namtar. Just got a little eyes peeking out. A little, little eyes peeking out of the, the Crown of Namtar. Um. Yeah, I, I kind of want to. I kind of want to just try to make a deck out of these. Uh, Chupacabra del Muerte. We we saw Chupacabra, uh, like before, but I guess this is just like chup dead, like undead Chupacabra. Chupacabra del Muerte. Chupacabra of the dead. Like, how, how much more Chupacabra can you get? We got Dead Dog, dude. <laughs> that is crossing a line. You can have the heads on the tables and the guts and the and the hip-hop hogs, but don't bring the dead dogs in here. John Wick's gonna go ape shit on you. We have Soul Prison. That looks cool. That, that actually looks really cool. Huh. There's some really cool stuff in this game. Like... Some really like striking dark visuals like yeah this is oh my god the amazing bobo holy freaking smokes oh that, bo <laughs> that bobo 
Bobo's like out of control. Like actually out of control. We have a few more packs left. Final thoughts, this game's crazy. This game's crazy. Ooh, Osiris, that's rad. Judge of Souls. I love Egyptian mythology. So, uh, Egyptian gods. Because we, we got another one before too, didn't we? Um, we got, was it in this one? I might have been in the other one because I don't, I don't see it here. Um, was it Set? We got, we got one of the other, another Egyptian god. Um, it'd be cool to get like Anubis. Serpent Queen. That's pretty cool too. I, I dig it. I, I honestly really don't know how I'm going to store these cards. I don't know how I'm going to store these cards. They're so weirdly shaped. I don't know. I'm just going to throw them into a BCW box or something. They're just going to be jumbling around. The Entomb. That looks pretty cool. Like some, some vamp, vampire-y stuff. Infestation. Zilovian Priest. Yeah, like... Comsies. I wish it was easier just to flip through these cards, but they're, man, they take so much work to just to get through them, which is why we're just doing the rares, because, ah, my hands feel like, they feel sticky. Was, was this game like this sticky when it came out, or is this just like a byproduct of the cards just being old? By the way, we have Skinny Pete, uh, stink, Stinky Pete. So the rare is Star Jelly, delish. Delicious star jelly. Okay, this is our last, last, last Hollow's Eve pack of Hecatomb. Um, well, I hope this video was scary. Are you scared? My, I'm scared and I'm sticky. I'm scared and I'm sticky. Last rare, Archbishop Lazarus. It's a reference to uh, Diablo and this ugly baby, Felis Muertis. Rob the Tomb. Yeah, this is... It's such a bizarre thing. Seed Seeds Oh, look at that. It's such a bizarre thing. I... Ooh, what's up? Sanguimancer. Just lick... Just, just, just looking that up. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a really weird one. I, I, I really like some of the imagery here. It, like... Look at this. This looks sweet. It looks like something from Dark Souls. Or like this soul prison. Looks like a weird, like Mesopotamian, like Babylonian artifact or something you'd, you'd see in like a history book. Or, and then this is freaking Bobo. <laughs> looks like something from a Steve, like a Steve McFarlane um, thing. Like, yeah, like Osiris. It's so bizarre. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me for this Halloween episode. Uh, I will see you next time for some more card game content. Please let me know if you played this super bizarre game. Can you even like, what are the, what's the durability of these cards? Can I rip this evil spawn? Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, you can rip it. It's like not super strong. It was kind of hard to do that. All right. Well, <laughs> that's, that's that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Have a good one all. We'll see you then.